Hey Vikes, in today's show, we learn more about Washburn Dual Credit, and we want to know if teachers can hang with the slang. I'm Mike. And I'm Cade. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Do you want to pie your teachers in the face? All you have to do is donate 50 items to your seminar class. Congrats to Madison Sugg and Peyton Sandin for getting fourth place, while Omni Peng Johnson and Elias Mosier took state runner-up. Deadline for dual credits at Washburn is January 31st. Here is Alexander with more. Welcome back, Vikes. I'm here with Mr. Alexander to talk more about the dual enrollment courses. When are things due and what's more inform information the students should know? Uh, well, um, I went to all the classes last week, and so hopefully everybody's gotten their enrollment sheet in hand. If you haven't gotten your enrollment sheet yet, then you need to come see me because I have them in my office. Um, there's a couple things that need to happen. If you're a first-time student, you also need to apply at Washburn, and I gave out blue sheets on how to follow those steps, and you have to do that before they'll take your enrollment sheet, so if you're having trouble with that, again, come see me. If you're a returning student who took classes last year or last semester, then you can just fill out the enrollment sheet. And enrollment sheets are due to Mrs. Varner this Friday, the 24th of January. Um, as far as payment and stuff, you don't have to have payment due until February 28th. You either have to pay it on that date or you the whole, in full, or you have to set up your, your installment payments, which you can pay a third of it like uh, March 1st, a third of it April 1st, a third of it May 1st. But you have to have that all set up. And that's just all through your My Washburn account on the Washburn website um, that you had set up for the, your previous classes. So those are kind of the dates you need to know. But the enrollment form is due this Friday. So make sure you get that in to Mrs. Varner in the front office. Is there anything else they should know? No, nope. work hard, study hard, last semester for seniors, finish strong. All right, Vikes, make sure to get that taken care of and have a great rest of your day. Make sure you turn in those papers. The spring class is set for Thursday, February 13th. The deadline to register and submit payment is February 6th. Forms are available in the front office. We've had several students perform well in competitions this past week. Patrick and Molly Biggs both placed in the district FFA speech contest, and Alex Westyard, Kara Dister, Eva Noble, Riley Senny, and Joe Marr made the KMEA All-State Ensemble. Nice job, Vikes. Now back to Cade with sports. Hey, I'm gonna go home and watch some Disney Plus. See you tomorrow. Be safe, there's supposed to be a nasty storm. We're tracking round two of winter weather this week. Look at this, a much more widespread area of snow The swim team had two meets last week, placing third and first. The city meet is coming up this week, so make sure you wish them good luck. Today at 1.15, Mia Weiler will sign a letter of intent to cheer at Washburn University. Hawaiian is the theme for Friday night's game. With all this slush on the road, let's go to Josh to find out if it gets any better. Well, we had some slushy muck this morning, so if you're waiting for spring, we are starting the countdown. Just 56 days left until we turn to the next season, so that is exciting for some of you. Here's your forecast headlines. We're tracking that wintry mix changing to rain today, and then tomorrow we'll have a wintry mix changing to snow, so kind of the other way around. And we will actually start to shake off some of that snow as we warm up this weekend. So let's walk you through this here. First for today, the precipitation is going to be lighter than it was this morning. But you can see by 3 o'clock, this moving into eastern Kansas will be mostly rain at that point. Can't rule out a few snowflakes mixed in, but the roads should be in much better shape by later this afternoon. Now tomorrow, this is what we're looking at. The morning should be dry. 
but during the afternoon, a, an area of precipitation moves in from northern Kansas this time, and it will start as a mix of rain and snow as our temperatures drop closer to sunset, it will change to snow. That is for your Thursday, so a light mix to snow. In terms of how much, this is our latest snowfall forecast calling for a trace to two inches once this begins to stick tomorrow evening. Here's a seven day forecast. You can see that we do have a, an active next couple of days with the rain and snow, but notice by Friday, it's pretty cold. We're drying out 35 and then this weekend, 40s and even 50 return by Monday. So winter lovers, enjoy the next couple of days. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. Hey, Kate, did you hear about that lit new segment? No, but I did hear it has the potential to be pretty dope. Let's go see if the teachers can hang with the slang. What's up, Vikes? We got a new segment for you, and we're going to see if teachers know modern slang terms. Let's get it. It's lit! What does lit mean? Uh, means great, awesome, wonderful, super. I'd say that's about right. Uh, lit means cool or, like, pretty popular right now. I'd say that's about right. You know what snack means? No. I'm sorry. I, I would think it would mean something literal, like you're going to eat something, but I guess not. Uh, that's not quite right. Darn it. Means when someone's looking looking nice, looking good. Oh my. Do you know what drip and ice is? Uh, I've heard respect my drip, respect the drip, but uh, I don't really know. Probably something like just uh, maybe what I'm wearing, who I am, something like that. Uh, gear, clothes. That's about right. Okay. Do you know what OK Boomer is? Yes, it means that everybody thinks we're old just because we, you know, say logical things. Sorry. Yeah, that's about right. You know what tea is? Uh, tea is uh, when you got some juicy gossip about somebody and, uh, you know, you want to spill the tea or something. You know what bands and racks are? No. What's that? They're when you get stacks of money, basically. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, I guess. Right. Okay, I'm not a drug dealer, so I didn't know that one. <laughs> Thanks for watching the first edition of Can You Hang With The Slang. We'll be back with more heat soon, so be on the lookout. Sounds like those teachers could hang with the slang. Have a safe drive home, Vikes. See you tomorrow.